Hey there, everyone. This is Sagal playing Mario Galaxy. I'm recording like an hour later than I normally would. Will that change anything? Maybe, maybe not. Hard to tell. Here I am, though. Hey, we got a ribbon! Oh, and I got a letter, too. That's what that ringing was. Okay, I was wondering. Luigi's- oh, Princess Peach. Far away place, doing all right, giving me some extra lives. Oh, well, that's pretty nice. Yeah, I'll, I'll take them and let them waste away. How would she find these lives? And also, how did she send- you know what? I don't know, man. Does it matter? She sent the mail. She used her princess powers to send mail. I believe it. This is the place they call the kitchen. Stumbling on ledges and corners is just my style, man. All right, so, oh yeah, so right here. Oh, and also there's an extra star too. So it's just, we're not done with the magic power of ghost house and space ghost house. All right, Mario, what do you want me to see? There, Devil Comet, is it gonna be Orby? Boulder guys, there, Devil Run. I knew it. I predicted that. I mean, I didn't think it'd be immediately, though. <laughs> yeah, I struggled with this guy. So, um, look at that. They remixed it a little bit. Now there's, a uh, looms instead of coins. Instead of coin, yeah, it was coins. I don't know anymore. I mention collectibles, and none of it matters. All right. Well, I mean, I expect to struggle. Looking forward to that. I, I'll I'll keep pawing for this first run. But like, I just fought you yesterday, so you're pretty fresh in my mind. But a lot of it is just being careful. A lot of it is that the phase where he has hands is annoying. Alright, two hits in real quick. But you, yeah, what you do before you get hands is a bit limited. I'm, I don't know why I took the time to destroy these. These are all just gonna be destroyed when I when I get ya. Here we go. Nope. Alright, there we go. Right on the back. Yeah, now you got your dangling. So, the dangling is my favorite part of a ghost. Actually hit you. I have a lot of trouble judging the distance of the ghost mace. Like, I'm gonna be perfectly real. I don't think I actually know the distance it's at from me at any time. I'm kind of just winging it. Alright, so like I said, you know, just be careful. Like, don't ever take anything for granted. Uh, and just play well. Yeah, that's all you need to do. Just be good. Alright, so, pop the ham. I don't know what I wanted, but you know what? I should get you. Uh, big stomps. And you smash the ghost that I needed. You are such a rude individual. I don't know if this hurts. Like, when the, the rocks stick out of the shadow, I have no context for if, like, they actually cause harm or they're meant to be purely obstacles. This is not the time to find out. I think. Then you're gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna punch. You punched. You did it. Yeah, that's not what I wanted. All right, well, both hands are damaged. Damaged hands. All right, let's try that again, I guess. What? No, no, no. Whoops, buddy. Yeah, all right. All right, you're handless now, I guess. The worst kind of hand boss. The hand boss that has no hands. Happens to the best of us. Well, at least now, if I can get a clear shot with Mr. Giggles here. There we go. Okay, still have... Alright, he's gonna punch away these rocks. He did not punch away these rocks. Alright, now he has. Alright, summon forth your pyric elements. Like pyrite, I guess, because that's not fire. Okay, you didn't punch the guy. But now the guy's off screen. Well, doing things accurate. See, like, that's what I feel is my issue with this pause is that, is that you gotta swing your bomb all over the place. In the second half, there's a lot of stuff that gets in the way. Oh, man. All right, got the hand somehow. As you do. Stomp, 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 stomp. All right, you're gonna punch. Yeah, I punched the little guy. Hit the hand. 
as you do. Uh, now what are you doing? All right, you're punching. I can punch too. Look at that. My hands get big when I spin. Bet you didn't know that. All right, so summon circles. Buddy, okay, good. You, just picking you up immediately. All right, waste uh, there, but that's fine. Trying it again. Yes! Oh, but I, so I did it, one shot. I mean, kind of a long shot, as in kind of a shot that took long, but hey, it counts. One shot is once, one try. <laughs> uh, multiple shots within that try. They were like, you know, I, I know what I mean. It's all good, maybe. It's some definition of good. <laughs> it's good over there. Okay. See, I, I was dreading. The dread was real. Turns out, no reasons to fear. Just be happy with your ears. There's nothing wrong with them. They're beautiful. Keep them. Alright, so almost a thousand. Yeah, so people have been asking, Hey, Raokao, why don't you buy the extra health from the shop man before the boss yesterday? Well, it's because I am painfully aware that you need to use these star beds to open up galaxies. And to me, that's it's more important to be ready for galaxies than it is to right here in a very spooky sprint. There's an ultimate. To me, it's very it's more important than um. But where? Anyway, yeah, it's more important for Paisanos than, um, whatever it is that I'm thinking about right now that I forgot about. I understand. It's all good. It's so cool how there's a memory of where you've been. There's a secret star here. I have to assume it's before you get to the race part. So let's explore carefully. That's a pumpkin, man. That's a bat. That's not what I mean by exploring carefully, just acknowledging things. I mean, yeah, I guess that's a part of exploring. Like, it could be anything. Oh, no. Uh, get out of here. Wow, that is a bad get out of here. That was barely a get out. All right, pumpkin man, I need the health back. Thank you. I don't think there's anything in that pit. Uh, what would be the secret way? Is there something inside the house? I don't think I can get inside the house. I just died. I think I just died. Wow. Exploring. <laughs> oh, that thing is broken. Was that thing always shiny? Okay, was that thing always shiny? I have to wonder now. Like, was it not shiny, but because I cleared a normal star, now it was shiny, it was a hint, and now I can go on this? I think that might be what happened. So this is basically a snake block. Except, we're nowhere. <laughs> okay, get keys to open door. That makes sense. And then you're gonna use magic to... Oh, the fire hurts. Gee, okay, I, okay, I didn't think the little lamp there would hurt so much. Uh, I don't know, I guess, I don't know what that coin was for. Well, that is so weird looking at them to like, you know, make them behave, but in 3D. That's scary. Alright, is there money in here? I mean, those are good. But I like to heal. Alright, jumping physics. You just kind of stop when you're stopping in the air. Alright, well, I mean, we still need those. Like, I was just talking about this is just a thing you need throughout the whole game, so. Alright, here we go. No, oh, wait, okay, yeah, here. Alright, let's see, thank you. So, there's stuff over there, but clearly I can go here, get a little bit of candy. Alright, and that's where they meet. The, what a confluence of proximity. Is the piano gonna be get angry? Not an angry piano. Disappointing. That's how you know what the real games are. Oh, did I open the wrong one? No, it just kind of does what it does. Okay, you are going- oh. Oh, that's weird. What if Snake was like a full 3D space? I totally played a ROM hag that had something like this, didn't I? Yeah, it was just done really more badly. I don't want to say it that way, but like, for real though. Okay, oh, shoot, I can die. 
There's a ceiling. Yeah, so you gotta hurry here. Now oh, these all open up, and I mean, oh, oh, I got a one up, so it's fine. <laughs> Life repeats itself. So you have a secret star who opens up this completely new experience that has nothing to do with the rest of the level. Like, this is outright just a brand spanking new level. It's just that instead of being a thing you enter from space, you have to jump through an extremely minor hoop. I mean, I respect that. That's neat. I just like, uh, yeah, so treat extra stars like they're all- Well, yeah, in Penguin World, that's how it was also, right? Um, I got there, whoa. And, uh, you know, I had this, this whole, like, freeze and waterfall moment with plants and stuff. Freeze and waterfall moment with plants and stuff. Why can I not? You know what? Doesn't matter. I just couldn't get it down there. All right, but I, I love the coins and all, but there's the star. Okay, so- I guess maybe the division is that compared to a lot of other stars, like it's not f a full experience. But I don't know, man. It's still like this entirely enclosed special extra thing that was a joy to play, and I love it. And I'm very glad I got to. It. I died a little bit, but you know, I the life didn't count. I was gonna keep playing, but lore trumps everything else. It is the most important thing. I'm out. <laughs> We're reading! Can you get on this thing? Of course you can. One day I'm gonna have to get here. Hey buddy, what do you want? To get to the upper level, you need to collect more. Alright, yeah, that's okay. So there's gonna be an upper level at some point. Yeah, and that's where the other half of the game's gonna be. Yeah, that's right! Actually, I'm going to read it. Aha, I'm gonna beat her to it! Ooh! Ooh. <laughs> her nice earrings speaking. are massive. I hope they're not too sharp, because her shoulders are bare. Chapter 5 Home. Oh, look at that, he made a house. The kitchen will go here, and the library will go over there, the girl said busily to herself. We'll put the gate here. Ever since the girl took Luma under her care, she's been bustling about at a feverish pace. It's a lot of work, but it's worth it to make a happy home. She even planted the palm tree. It turned out that star bits weren't the only thing buried in the ice. There were tools and furniture, unlike they hadn't ever seen. And the girl used them to build a home. I feel this this asks a lot of questions. Looking at the completed house, Luma she built this! Wow. Including carpet. Looking at the completed house, Luma remarked, Don't you think it's awfully big for just the two of us? With the library? Bedroom, kitchen, fountain, and gate. It was cert it was certainly spacious. But still, something seemed to be missing. If only my father, brother, and mother were here, the girl said wistfully. Indeed, the house was too large for its two small residents. She doesn't even have a bed. That night, Clutching her favorite stuffed bunny close to her heart, the girl fell asleep in the starship. So you made a house, but you sleep in the starship? Ooh. I guess it's too spacious. Like, it doesn't feel homey yet. A home that is not homey. Man, what a cruel cliffhanger this was, Rosa. What the hell? Whoops, I pressed the button. Okay, well, let's see what happens if you interact with Buck. So there, there's either a total of eight chapters, and we're just speed running this, or there's another page. Like you know, I'm pressing. Oh, not pressing B. I was not pressing B because I was. Ba I saw the bag and it said back or B. I thought I was pressing B. I was pressing Z. Those are different things. I don't know my buttons very well still. <laughs> 